Hello everybody, uh, this is going to be the recorded video um, for our next drawing which is uh, our jellyfish. So this is my example. Um, this might look a little bit different to some of the 8th graders because I, I changed it up for the recording just to make it a little bit different from what we, we did in class. Um, so be, be prepared for that. If you've lost yours and you're trying to catch up, that's why. Um, but 7th grade, this will be the same as what we did in live class. Um, so we're going to start with the top and then we'll work our way down. Um, but I am going to do the round shape on the top really, like really lightly. Um, so I'm not sure if I'm going to keep the shape the same as I get it um, as I go through the next couple steps. But it's generally like a little football kind of shape. <clears throat> and essentially what I want to do when I'm happy with it is in the center do like this kind of U. I'm making it pretty large. And then I'm going to work my way over to the outside edge. I did one, two, th three little bumps. So on the side, and I'll do try to make it even, so I'll do three on the other side. <coughs> Excuse me, gosh. And at the very top in the center, I'm going to do these kind of lines that fan out on both sides and then I'm just going to go through this and kind of touch everything up to make sure it's nice and crisp everything lines up then I go back and erase my original lines that I had on there because I don't need them anymore and believe it or not as simple as that is that's going to be the head of our jellyfish So I got all my lines for the most part erased. <clears throat> it's pretty symmetrical. Looks okay. And then I'm gonna add a couple more lines in each of these little kind of rounded ridged areas to give it some detail, some texture. The side on the right are kind of curving to the right. <clears throat> the ones on the left are kind of curving to the left. So the stuff coming down. I don't know if it's they're called tentacles or not, but that's what we're going to call them. I'm going to do three big ones and then a bunch of the kind of wispy, floaty guys. So my my first one's going to be this, the one in the center. That's going to get more narrow as it goes down. And <clears throat> to do this really lightly, I'm going to do the shape of it. I don't really have any like rhyme or reason like which way I'm going. Like that little okay to me. And to make it a different texture, texture is how something feels, but in the case of a drawing is how it looks like it could feel. I'm going to go back and edit this line and make it kind of bumpy. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, I'm gonna go on here and kind of make it, like kind of moving my pencil back and forth to give it like this weird, rigid, bumpy line. I'm kind of copying the direction that I went. Okay, then I'll do it on the same side or same thing on the opposite side. And I'll do that two more times. One on the left, one on the right. <clears throat> I think that's okay for that one. I think this one's going to be a little bit longer and kind of going this way. I'm just making it up. And I'm going to do the little bumps. Both sides. So that's my three main ones. And I'm not going to worry about erasing those lines. So it'll be easier after I trace this. <clears throat> and I want to do a bunch of wispy guys. So to do that, I'm going to start with just a single line. And then towards the top, I'm going to double it up. And as I go down, I'm going to slowly get closer and closer and closer and closer. 
so it kind of just connects. So with this, I really have to pay attention to where each of these get, because we're going to do quite a bit of them. So when I go back and trace all this, I really have to pay attention to where each of the <clears throat> wispy little guys are. I'm just going to do that all over. There's again, there's really no rhyme or reason. There's no right or way, a wrong way to do this, as long as like it it looks right. Um, you'll be okay. So I want some going on top of the three big ones and then some coming from behind it. Some maybe even going in between. Don't worry about these overlapping and like having to pay attention to all that. We're gonna fill them in all one color, whether it's black or whatever, um, later. So when they intersect like these two right here, you're not gonna have to worry about which one's on top and all that kind of stuff to be accurate like overlapping so um, don't bother they paying attention to that as long as the curves of them are making sense you'll be okay make them all different different sizes coming from different locations curving different directions and like I'm just I know you can't see my head, but I'm, I'm moving back from my picture and I'm kind of just looking at it as a whole. Where do I need another one? Like right now it's looking like this zone's okay. Over here looks kind of um, empty. I might add one more long guy and then probably call it a day. Yeah. Mm. Now this is longer than this side. So I don't want it to be perfectly even, but it looks kind of funny. I might make this one slightly longer. I'm happy with it. So that's not too bad. Take your time. Go slow. This is part one of, um, of two parts of the picture. So the second video will be going through adding value to it. Um, so please make sure you also in addition watch that video as well. But let's zoom all the way out for the whole thing and good luck.